Hello, hello, it's your friendly space Jesus, the Renai Man. Today we're gonna have a look at Star Citizen, specifically at a mission that anybody can do. So if you're new to the game and you wonder like, and you know, you're confident with, you know, gamer skills, you're a gamer. <laughs> uh, there's a good mission that I can recommend for you to do to get your first uh, starter cache. And if you go on to, under your mission, contract manager, mercenary, it's urgent, boarding action in progress. And we're gonna have a look here how to efficiently do this mission here and get the bonus uh, interrupting data transfer. So that's gonna be not 45,000 alpha UEC, that's going to be 50,000 alpha UEC. And we are going to have a look how to efficiently, efficiently do this and pretty much always guarantee almost the data link uh, interruption. So let's accept the mission. Yes. Also, please don't forget to accept the mission call to arms. This will give you a bonus for each enemy or enemy ship destroyed. So we're gonna get the, these two missions here. And yeah, why do you want to do this mission? It's good cash, of course, 50,000, yes. But it's also no reputation required to do this mission. And it's available on Microtech, Arcorp. Crusader and I Hurston and I not sure about Crusader but Hurston as well so yeah it's pretty much available like you know from any starting position and no reputation that's why it's so good a other good uh, reason it's it's a nice variety so you know you will engage two um, you know other ships like space combat and then you will you know continue through zero G into a ground mission of 20 enemy companions so it's a uh, you know good nice variety also another good reason is uh, you get to know um, the ships in Star Citizen like we will be you know clearing out the 890 jump which is a huge ship and you know you can get lost but it's uh, you know trying to get to know the ships better is a good uh, good skill to have uh, on the downside there's no loot boxes in there so like new loot in there is not that good it's more like for the raw cash that you get from the mission and you might die there so don't take anything that you are not willing to lose but uh, you know as you do these missions you will get better and better and you know you can pretty much use any weapon but I suggest carrying uh, a pistol and having a med tool and a multi-tool with tractor beam in your inventory I will show you how my inventory looks like here and you know just have uh, SMG P8 and a little arc light and you have one grenade spare mags and you pretty much want to have uh, the med pen it's also pretty much almost requirement I do carry you know some drinks some extra grenades a tiger claw in case I get crime stat accidentally so you know this might be something you want to carry and yeah, more med pens, refill for the med gun, and there is my multi-tool, and down there we have the med gun, just in case I need it. But yeah, uh, let's get going with the mission, I'm gonna spawn my ship and uh, fly there, and yeah. Before I forget it, you actually can take a sniper rifle with you, that might come in handy depending on the route and playstyle you wanna approach the mission with. It's gonna, the mission is going to be on one of the moons, your main planet, you know, but it's within the, the system of the planet pretty much. And you know, set your route to the distress beacon. If you can't set the route to the distress beacon, uh, it might be good to travel to an orbital marker. I'm just gonna go to OM4. And that usually helps, you know, with you being able to uh, target the mission in your map. That's a little bonus tip for you there, so the stress beacon will be available then. Okay, good. Let's engage these guys here. Getting rammed. Classic. There we go. Okay, good. Okay, good. 
Once you killed uh, your two, uh, you know, space targets here, um, there will be a few things to note. Uh, once you board the A90 jump, um, the people in white armor, those are security personnel, and we don't want to kill them, because that will result in crime stat, and you will have a bad day. You can bring along a sniper rifle and, you know, EVA out a bit without triggering the data timer, and you can take out the guys in the main hangar. And depending on how many people you are, there are a few different routes and strategies you can take. Um, we're going to focus on the efficient strategy to get the data link solo down on your own, always pretty much every time. But yeah, if you want to play it safe, you want to, you know, go to the lower deck, set your spawn point and turn on the power, you know, for the lights so you actually see, uh, you know, a bit better. And if you are two people, one guy can take the top, one guy can take the, you know, bottom floor. And by the top floor, I mean, like, not the atrium, but like the bar area, that kind of stuff. And if you have three people, we have one guy on the bottom, one guy take the atrium and the other guy take the top. So, yeah, uh, let's get going. And we will just focus on getting all the data link spawns checked so we can get our 5k bonus. Gonna aim at the top floor there so we get some light through there. Let's get out the pilot chair and get going. And yeah, it doesn't matter from which side you engage, just pretty much the main hatch is going to be our target here when we EVA out. I'm gonna use the main ramp, you don't want to get stuck on ramps or killed by any, any doors. It's usually a bad way to go. Let's get our weapon out here. Okay, open the door and just straight go. We're gonna be focusing on the date targets. So here is the first spawn. Not here. On the wall there would be it. Let's check the other door here. Make sure there's nobody here. There will be another spawn here. We're going to go to the elevator here in the back. We're gonna take the right elevator, go to the top. Since we wanna check most possible spawns. Go up. Yeah, there will be three spawns we're going to check here. There is one spawn right here on this window. There is two more spawns we're going to check here. We got 16 bullets and should be good. Actually gonna pop a reload. Actually, open please. There is one more spawn. Open. Here is one more spawn, we're gonna Zoom in with middle mouse button, F middle mouse button, abort, and abort, proceed, waiting for it to abort. And that's the data link, so that's easy 5k right there. Yeah, that's the strategy, but I will I will continue showing in case we didn't we didn't get the spawn there. We'll just continue like we didn't get it, right? Let's go to the bottom floor hangar. There we will, uh, yeah, check pretty much all the spawns possible. First one will be here. There is another spawn right there on the wall. Backtrack towards the cargo area. On the wall over there would be another spawn, right there. You, you don't need to engage these, so if you're on the timer, you would just check and go back. Go back over here now. 
and here would be a other possible spawn in this room. And we are going to clear the atrium now. To check for the other spawns, of course. Um, we are going to go to the top. Let's just go in here. Pop the reload. Here would be a other spawn. I think this would be the last spawn, I'm pretty sure. There might be one on the opposite side, but not 100% sure. Not sure if it would be here, but... I think we cleared all the spawns, so yeah, now you just need to finish off the remaining enemies. And that will be a nice payout of 50,000 if you're solo. Check down here, backtrack, just, you know, make sure that nobody left, pretty much. But I think the last five enemies should be on the bottom floor in the main hangar area. When, you want, when you're clearing the doorways here, it's best to not stand right behind the doorway. Just like trigger the open, trigger the open, but don't stand behind. It's usually a recipe for disaster, in my mind. We're going to grab this gun here for extra ammo. Grab one more. Take here cover, because they're behind the door here. Open. Open again. Check. Okay, good. Looks like there is still two more enemies. Oh shit, behind. One guy down. There is still one more. We are going to go grab some extra. We can grab one more. Grab. Okay, good. Let's find our last enemy combatant. there if you want to go the safe way it's best if you just rush through here kill everybody in your way take this elevator here the left one or the right one doesn't really matter too much 
go down. But yeah, it's better to take the left one first. The left elevator that is, go down here towards the main hangar. And you check for the spawn and set your regeneration point here. And then turn on the power on the ships to actually see a bit more. You want to backtrack towards the cargo area. Come around here. Maybe check for the spawn point down there in the cargo area. And you want to turn the entire ship on by entering the seat. I think the other seats work as well, but I usually take, take this one. Also, this works by going on the bridge, turning on the power there. Yeah, power on. There we go. And light. We got light, so, you know, this is how I would, you know, play it a bit safer. With the light on and the respawn set. But yeah, that's gonna be it for me. And... Good luck, have fun looting. That's why we also brought the little multi-tool with the tractor beam. And yeah. Happy hunting. Bye. <laughs>